Hi guys, this is the third of three videos where we have been looking at the physical properties we use to identify different minerals. In this video, I will be looking at a table which summarizes all the mineral properties and associates them with their minerals. We will also have a look at a flow chart which shows us the path we should look at in order to try and identify minerals. Here we have a table that summarizes all the different types of minerals their luster, colour, streak, hardness, cleavage and fracture, and the crystal structure. I won't go over each mineral specifically, but just so you can have a look and compare this to samples when we look at the samples in the next video. The colour, as I said, is not such a great indicator, whereas the streak is more consistent. The hardness of a mineral is almost always consistent and is a good indicator of what mineral we're looking at. The cleavage and fracture, which often matches the crystal structure, is also a very good indicator. And luster is sometimes a good thing to look at when we're trying to consider what sort of mineral we're looking at. Although the luster of a mineral can be changed through to weathering of the outside of a mineral. And finally, here's a quick summary to see if we can decide what sort of mineral we're looking at in the lab. Firstly, we'll ask ourselves, does the mineral get easily scratched by a pin? When we're looking at this question, we're actually considering the hardness of the mineral. So here we can say that all of these minerals are less hard than the pin. So if yes, our mineral is scratched by the pin, then we would ask, is the mineral pale or dark? If the mineral is pale, we would then see, does the mineral fizz in acid? And if it does, then yes, we have a calcite. Does the mineral have cubic crystals? If yes, then maybe we have a halite. Or does the mineral break off in flat sheets? If so, we probably have a muscovite mica. But if the mineral is dark, then we would see whether the mineral will break off in flat sheets and therefore we have a biotite mica. Or if we have dense cubes, we may have a galena. These two here are quite comparable because they're both micas. However, one is dark and one is light in colour. If our mineral was not scratched by the steel pin, then we start to look at does the mineral scratch glass easily? So is the mineral more hard than glass? If yes, we may either have a quartz, garnet or olivine. We will start to look at the colours of the crystal to, to decide what sort of mineral we have in that case. If the mineral does not scratch glass and the glass scratches the mineral, therefore the mineral is softer than glass. And then we might start to look at the luster of the mineral. Does it have a shiny or metallic luster? And what sort of colour is it? From that we can start to decide all the different types of minerals we have. Finally, I'm just going to end on this table again because it is quite an important table. Here in this table we contain all the properties of all the minerals that we will probably be looking at. I hope this video has helped and thanks for watching guys. That's the end of our three videos on classifying and identifying minerals. You should now be able to use colour, streak, luster, hardness, cleavage and fracture, density and whether a mineral reacts with acid in order to find out what mineral you are looking at. I hope these three videos helped and thanks for watching.